Welcome to BAM Teacher Tech. In this edition, I'm going to show you how you can create templates for your classroom using Adobe Creative Cloud Express, which was formerly Adobe Spark. So I'm inside here in Adobe Express, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a template that I like that I'll maybe want to customize a little bit and then share with my students. So if I scroll down, there's a new section called Templates for Classroom. And you can see here it gives you some examples, but I'm going to press View All. And it's thinking. Everything's based on the speed of the internet. And of course here, so I have some uh, great examples here. I have Instagram posts I can use, but I like some of these worksheets here are interesting. And I like this one right here, this No Wonder and Learn chart. So I'm going to press Start From. And I'm going to hit Create From Template. And it's thinking. It's putting this together and ta-da, I now have this awesome template that I can go ahead and customize and use. It's still thinking. And there we go. So now it's has the template up. It's giving me some different options for texts that are in there. And so what I can do is I can go through, I can customize things, I can add things to this. But for the sake of the video, I'm just showing you the logistics on how to share this with your students. So say I'm finished with this chart, I can go ahead and press share, and then I'm gonna make this a template. So right now it's saving my projects. Preparing the template. So I'm gonna give this a template name. So I'm gonna call this the KWL chart and of course you can add optional notes and then in the save to, li to a library what we want to do is create a new library so just like in google drive or uh, onedrive or any place where you save a lot of files you want to think about an organizational structure for these templates so right here i'm going to create add the library and i'm going to give this one a name so i'm going to, I'm going to call this uh, classroom worksheets and then I'm going to press Save Template. And right now it's creating the template in the background. So I'm not sure of the mechanics of what's happening in the background. We can only imagine the wonders of Adobe in the background of my computer. So it says that it was saved to my Classroom Worksheets library in, uh, in the template. So now we want to go to our library. So right now I'm going to press this Adobe Express logo. The very top left corner it brings me back to the home screen here. And then I'm gonna go and press libraries on the left. And you can see I have various libraries here, but here's the one I just made of classroom worksheets. So I'm gonna go and press manage. And you can see uh, this template is ready to be shared. So I'm gonna go and press the share button in the top right hand corner. And I'm gonna click on make public link. And right now I have this wonderful link that I can share uh, either through Schoology uh, or any other of those types of means to share with the students. So I'm gonna press copy link. And what they will see is they'll come to this screen in Adobe Creative Cloud when they click on that link. And the only thing they'll be able to see is this KWL chart in their account and they'll start to be able to create one on their own. So this process right now eliminates all the thousands of different templates and options that Adobe uh, Express gives you. And it just kind of streamlines it so kids find exactly what you want to give them quickly and easily. So again, this is a, this is a very fast way to get some cool templates out to your students. They can go ahead and remix these and then share them with you via Schoology, email, whatever the process is that you collect awesome student work. So if you have any questions, feel free, feel free to reach out to me, william.peterson at lcps.org. You can find me on Twitter at BAM Teacher Tech. And once again, thanks so much for watching this video about creating templates in Adobe Creative Cloud Express.